as we've been discussing, the farther along we get in this recovery, uh, there are still a lot of question marks around what might be exhausted from the CARES Act when we got that passed earlier this year. One of the big question marks is what's going to happen to America's student debt problem. Of course, uh, interest payments have been postponed on a lot of those loans, and it is something that came through in the CARES Act, but still questions around what will happen when that stops after the end of the year. And as that looms, uh, many students with debt are turning to public service jobs and the loan forgiveness program attached to that, uh, including droves and droves of people who have been buried in debt. For more on that, I want to bring on our next guest here to discuss that with us. Uh, Jason DiLorenzo is a PSLF jobs founder, a site dedicated to exactly what we're talking about here in that loan forgiveness program alongside Yahoo Finance's R.T. Swaminathan. Uh, and Jason, I'll start with you here because it sounds like you guys are continuing to see a surge in uh, in questions and people looking to sign up for jobs in that space to, to draw down their debt. So what kind of uh, droves are we talking about here? Because I use that term loosely, but yeah. what are the actual numbers in terms of interest now yeah. seeking some loan forgiveness? Right now, we have 1.4 million borrowers in the United States that are enrolled in the public service loan forgiveness program, which requires 10 years before you can get your loans forgiven tax free. And so 1.4 million borrowers has seen exponential growth uh, over the past few years. I think one of the greatest drivers for that uh, is going to be the fact that it, we're five months now into the 10 year uh, anniversary of the nationalization of student loans. Uh, and as some of you that might be pursuing the program know, you have to have direct federal student loans to participate in the PSLF program. That didn't become the standard in terms of uh, lending to borrowers until July of 2010. So just in the past year, we've seen 350% growth in forgiveness granted success. And I think that's driving a lot more people to the program today. Hey, Jason, you're a jobs platform. Would you have any insight into what kinds of um, industries or jobs within uh, the PSL of jobs that have sort of exploded in the past few months or weeks? Absolutely. I would say the two sectors that we're most focused in talking to graduates in are uh, within the medical, the graduate health space, where you see significantly higher levels of student loan debt than other programs. And also um, teachers is a larger, is a much larger growing class of uh, borrowers who often have significant amounts of debt and who very often will work in public service or government environments, so they're eligible. The, the, the difficult part is determining eligibility and finding the right resources in place to make sure that you're actually navigating the program successfully. There's a lot of speculation around who will potentially be the next education secretary. Certainly a big shift likely from Betsy DeVos. I'm curious what names that you're looking at right now potentially and how significant a shift are we likely to see on the handling of student debt as a result of who's tapped? I definitely think we will be seeing a more um, a more progressive approach than we've seen from Secretary DeVos. I wouldn't throw out any names as an expectation just yet. I don't know if, Art, do you want to take a stab at that? Um, but I would expect that, you know, we're going to have a runoff election in Georgia, uh, and that's going to determine what progressive policies will actually uh, be considered, uh, you know, depending on which way the Senate goes. Uh, but I think as a general rule, based on what we've seen from DeVos and partisanship aside, uh, I would expect a little more friendly environment for uh, student loan borrowers with Biden now as the president elect and the expectation that DeVos will be on her way out. Jason, you mentioned in some of the notes that you have a partnership with SoFi. So a lot of people have yeah. refinanced to take advantage of super loan. <laughs> but when you refinance, you miss out on PSLF. You miss out on the possible debt cancellation. So what do you okay. say to these people who have been left off? What options do they have? Well, so, so refinancing rates right now are at historical lows because of what we've seen happen in the economy. The challenge for the refinancing companies like SoFi right now is that you're competing with a government benefit right now. And yes, it expires on 1231, but you're competing with a government benefit that requires zero payments and zero accruing interest. So you, you can't really compete with that as a private uh, lender, even as competitive as rates are. The other expectation here is that you know, the Fed suggested that we were going to keep rates low for the next three years into 2023. And so if you can get zero rates and zero payments now, and you're pretty confident that whether the CARES Act extension 
ends in January or there are some expectations that could go out all the way to the end of September. You know, why would you why would you pull the trigger on refinancing and give up that federal benefit now when the expectation is that rates will remain low? So if you're reliant upon refinancing federal student loans as a lion's share of your business, it's probably uh, a tough place to be in right now. Yeah, and Jason, I mean, when we're talking about expectations and, and what maybe people out there with student debt should be thinking about, the expectation might be that we would see a continuation of that deferment and loan payments. Uh, but there are still Correct. question marks, as you noted, uh, about maybe what could happen to this loan, pra- the loan program, the loan forgiveness program we're discussing here yeah. in terms of public service jobs. It's been a bit of a cliff, right? Talk to me about how it's, it's you know, 10 yeah. years required before you can apply for it, but potentially uh, Biden could change the rules about that to be 50% of five years or what he wants to do yeah. there. That's right. We'd love to see that change because, you know, the statistics already now suggest that the successes are driving more people to public service, loan forgiveness, qualified jobs. And, you know, that sector is larger than you might think. There are 35 million PSLF qualified jobs in the United States, but it does require 10 years, all or nothing, before you can be granted the loan forgiveness. Now, if they were to, in in, in Biden's proposal, uh, both wants to offer 50% loan forgiveness after five years of public service. So cutting that requirement in half. There's also a proposal out there in certain types of public service jobs to actually forgive $10,000 per year over the course of five years. So that's another $50,000. Now, the 10 years required that exists today for PSLF, you'd have a lot more folks entering into the public service sector to enjoy that loan forgiveness if it were prorated in some way as this has been has been discussed. I don't see too many opportunities for legislation, particularly now with, with Biden as the president-elect. I don't see too many opportunities for public service loan forgiveness to be on the chopping block, so to speak, as it has been under uh, previous administrations, both the Obama administration and Trump's budget proposals sought to either cut or limit public service loan forgiveness. And we don't see that really as uh, as a consideration or expectation anymore. Following up on that, does that uh, change if we do get a debt jubilee, if we do have $10,000 in cancellation? Because there's a lot of psychological effects that go into place if you cancel that. That's correct. And that probably is going to affect over 10 million borrowers individually, meaning that their debt is completely gone. Uh, at that of roughly about 10 million uh, borrowers today have about $10,000 of student loan debt. Uh, I think more impactful, uh, and certainly the, the $10,000 would be impactful, but PSLF candidates today have so much more debt than $10,000. Um, the, the psychological effect of the 10,000 is gonna hit some a lot more than others for, for the higher debt borrowers. It's not gonna really move the needle on, on how they approach their repayment strategy. What's of interest is the opportunity for those who have uh, incomes of less than $125,000 per year to be able to go to public university or get those uh, loans forgiven. If you went to public service, uh, if you went to public university, uh, you'd get your loans forgiven uh, with with uh, under certain income thresholds. That seems to be really impactful, you know, in terms of college enrollment and all of that. Uh, It would be nice to see that get some legs in uh, in legislation as well. Yeah, no question. A lot of students looking for some kind of relief, especially those new graduates who are still struggling to find jobs. Uh, Jason DiLorenzo, the founder of PSLF Jobs, it's always good to talk to you and our very thanks to RT Swaminathan as well.